I remember there's a moment in my career, maybe this is a moment for that will connect, but I remember I was doing everything that felt like I wanted to be doing. I was do I, w- I went from the show called After Party, which I mm-hmm. loved. I love being in and Chris Miller and uh, Phil Lord, Lord of Miller yeah, yeah. like icons to me what they've done. I love them. So I was like, I always want to do something with them. And I had a really nice role in that. And I got to sing and I got to do all these cool things. And I went right from that to the next day. And this is all during COVID times when it was like hard to get jobs. I did Space Force, which is Malkovich and yeah. uh, Steve Carell. Yep. And I'm doing that. And I'm from LA now. I'm, I'm, I mean, I was in LA, then I'm going to Vancouver and I'm working nonstop. And I'm like thinking this is exactly what I want to be doing. And I would get home and it just felt like I couldn't just keep doing this. That wouldn't f- make me feel yeah. fulfilled. I need a partner. I need something. I need a life or I need, you know, I was like, oh, there was a big moment there when I was like, I feel like I'm doing all the things that I thought that would make me happy and feel fulfilled. But even when I'm doing all these things at the level that I'm doing them at, which felt great, and I was touring at the same time, and I was doing Sonic, it didn't matter. I always thought that that would fill me up. But that work stuff isn't, like, it, it's a part of it. It really helps yeah. make you feel good. But. Fi- you feel when you're not doing it, but then when you're doing it, you can, you're like, oh, this isn't total. I, that's this right. It total, just felt like. This satisfaction. I thought it was going to be total. It's not total. Is it just going to be my whole life jumping from gig to gig, just like this from city to city? I think I need something to ground me more. I think I need, uh, I need more. I'm very close to my, uh, you know, my, my parents and my sister, my, my family family. But I was like, I, uh, that, there was a moment when I was like, oh, this will be big. Th- I need something else. Yeah. And I need something bigger. Something that makes this shit not matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that, by the way, talking about like linking your self-worth to your job, yeah. being able to link your self-worth to family or relationship or something Did like that. Did you have to change your approach with, in terms of, uh, if you were more career oriented and like relationships were like on the side, there was a moment. You... Oh, by the way, this is great. There was a moment like I was in like a nice relationship and it ended. And there was a moment when I started dating uh, women there where I was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I want a relationship. I will not go. I will not like. Um, I will not even kiss a gr- a woman unless I know there's a possibility of another date. I don't want to fuck with anybody. I don't want to yeah. and. There was a shift in, I mean, I wasn't going, I'm not like, I was never like a big bachelor going crazy, but like there was a moment in my life when I was like, I'm this age, I want a relationship right now. I don't want to mess with anybody. I just want to, let's, I'm going to try to date some people, see where we go. There was a big click in me there. And then I found my dating thing to be, I would date people for way less time or just try one or two times and then, you know, politely, whatever. Yeah. There was a definite shift in that where it's like, not just like flying well, that's, my How was that with disappointing people? Because people, you think if you're- That's if why you I did do, one and I wouldn't- I If wouldn't, you do it early, it's better, but it's still not good. People don't like it. It is easier though. I yeah, think, don't you definitely, think? Yes. Especially for yes, me. Yes, it's easier, but it's not easy. Yes, you know it's never I mean? easy. It's never easy telling someone you're not romantic. You don't see a romantic Yeah, you're making them. them feel bad. You're right. Yes. Totally. I remember my uh, therapist once said um, when I was going through like figuring out dating this thing, I was like, I think I was like, man, I feel bad if I hurt something. Like- Anybody who goes on a date knows that, it, I mean, outside of the 1% where the person actually gets married, knows it's going to end. Yeah. It's going to end. So it's like, you guys are going into this date with a contract knowing that this will end at some time probably. Yeah. So he like but relaxed But nobody me. really, no, we all know that consciously, but no one thinks it's going to be them. And it's also like, if I feel that maybe it's not right, I'm assuming the other person's like, yeah, this is probably not yeah. whatever. Um, and I think sometimes it wouldn't be totally mutual, but oftentimes it'll be like, it'll be mutual in a week. They'll realize, but also if I'm not like, if I'm just not even kissing or doing it, yeah, yeah. they'll kind of understand like, oh, like this will be fun. We'll be friends or something like that. But there was a moment in my life where I was like, I I really want to find some, I have a TV show that I'm writing about for this, but it's like, I really want to find someone in the show. The whole idea is that I spent so much time on work that I didn't spend any time on relationships. And now I'm in the show. I think I'm 35 or 33. And, and I'm like, I have to, everybody's married. Everybody's yeah. married. I don't know what the fuck to do. And I'm so behind yeah. that I have to catch up and be a fucking adult and date people for the purpose of really connecting and finding love. There was a big, you're, it's so funny you bring that up because I wouldn't have thought about it. Did. There was a big moment where I was like, come on, we're really going to figure this out because I was so terrified of not finding somebody. I was like- So it was, okay, that's interesting. And did you have to uh, not change your, but change your mentality about it where it's like this- will be the same drive you had for work did you have to make it have there been moments where you're yes. like 
you want to be worky, but you're like, this, I have to be. I almost had to think about dating as work. I had to make time for dating because I just was so, I'm so happy. I love what I do. So I just like spent all my time in there and any free time I'd have, I'd be writing a script for some place or I'd be performing yeah. or I'd be acting. Yeah. And then I had to literally think about it like, this is a job now too. You have to find somebody, you have to date people, you have to connect, you have to make time for this. You can't work all night. You have to, so like I had to, okay, I haven't thought about this part of my life in so long, but I really had to do it. And I did do that. And did I, it like, feel like a sacrifice? Sometimes it felt like work, sometimes, it never felt like a it never felt like a sacrifice because if I had some like really big deadline, I would do the deadline. Yeah, but if I was like I could do either one, I would do it. Or if my friends were going out to a bar, I would go out to a bar. Although I, you know, when was the last time anybody went out to a bar? But yeah. it's like um, I would put myself out there more and stuff like that and try to see what would happen and, and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And then once you Can I ask you a question, yeah. Do you think so? Me talking about switching that mentality, did you have a version of that? And if you think about that version, are there people that you met earlier in your life that after you felt that switch, you think the relationship would have been deeper and better uh, if you had like, after you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to be more serious about this or no? I don't know if I, if I, if I, if my any romantic relationships failed because um, I was too work oriented, I think they just, it, I either, you either want to spend all your time with somebody or you don't yeah i think it's just i think it's binary and i i believe i now i not believe i found somebody that i want to spend all my time with so oh, like it's amazing yeah it's fucking awesome and it ha it does coincide with a shift in work satisfaction yes you have to which, sacrifice your time for the relationship yeah, but i don't it doesn't feel like a sacrifice because i'm not i'm not as uh monomaniacal about success so it it's one of those things of like i don't know if it would have been possible without it etc cetera, etc cetera. although i was more ambitious when i met her than i am now so um i don't think it maybe put some of that ambition into the relationship I, yes but i also don't think it my relationship was spoiled by any other relationship was spoiled by ambition i think actually weirdly more friendships were spoiled by my ambition oh that's interesting yeah meaning I, in a competitive nature like this person no, would be actually just in a careless i didn't care enough i cared so much about work that if the person kind of cared about work i thought less of them if they didn't think a, a ton about no work. i it's like i would think i explained it to a friend of mine who i've been working with for 20 years where i was like the way my life was was i was a i was like 11 12 13 14 i didn't like my home life and i just started working all the time that was your escapism yes so i'm still doing that and i would make most of my connections through work so i was looking to get super connected to people i was working with and they were just seeing it as like oh no i'm just worried it's just a thing i do yeah it's not my identity i'm like well it's my whole identity what are you doing that's so, so I, it actually fucking was and then i told a friend of mine he's like if i'd known that about you it, it clarifies so much in terms of why this all is so meaningful to you yeah but so i think i was thoughtless toward people because i was like nah i gotta work you know so i but i think less so with women i it, which is surprising to hear myself say that but it doesn't seem to make sense but i don't think the work stuff got in the way of most relationships yeah because i was always pretty committed to the relationships whenever i was in a relationship i always you know went for it and gave it my all but while if it wasn't like a girlfriend like someone I, if the idea of dating to me was second place to i gotta get this done and stuff like, it's not it didn't feel as important to me but like all my friends from college got married and had kids in their 20s and then like but out here people it's so different yeah. out here um because we we put so much of ourselves into our work and stuff yeah. like that i think with the women there was a sexual component that i wanted to like satisfy i felt physically i needed to satisfy that with the women myself so therefore i was more committed wait physical that, intent just uh in that like whereas a friend there's no like sexual component like a buddy right, right, right. there's no 
I know I'm really contradicting myself here, but it's gonna have a there, lot of eureka moments. No, right? no, there's like your Reddit thread is gonna be blowing uh, up right now. Wild. Crazy. Um, I can't wait to get. I almost want to pause the podcast just to look. Um, the uh, the the no, but I, there was a there was an ego to sex ego with in relationships of like I want it. I do you know what I mean? Like so, I would dedicate more time to it. Okay. Like there was ego in work, and and there was ego in in female relationships because there was a sexual component, and then with friendships it was just kind of like I don't even know where that goes. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe, and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.